In this lecture, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up a Blogger blog. Like I mentioned before, a Blogger blog is completely free. It doesn't cost you any money. You can get started today by going on Google and searching and go to blogger.com, search for it on Google, and sign up for an account which is free. If you have a Google account, then you can just use that and create your own blog in literally a few seconds. You will need to choose a name for your blog. Make sure you include your email address and all of that so that they can send it all the information to you. And then you can set up your own blog. And I'm going to go and show you guys through my blogger account how all of this works so that you can set up your own blogger blog today. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I am on the back end of blogger. Um, dot com and this is after you set up your site or a, sign up for a blogger blog then right here you can click on this button where it says new blog to create a new blog for you and it's really really simple you can just click on that button you're gonna put in the title of your blog for example Alicia's freebies let's just say that <clears throat> Let's try this. Okay. And then from here, you can pick a sample template of whatever. You can just go through and look and see which ones you'd like to have. Maybe we're going to just do this one and create your blog. It's that simple. That's just a simple way for you to be able to get it started. And you could also search for a domain name, but if you don't want to do that, you can just click out no thanks right now. And then once you're here at this point, what you want to do next is go to settings. And here you're going to edit. If you want to change your title of your blog, you can do that and put a description here so that people will know it'll show up on the search engines it'll be visible and then you want to make sure that your description is related to what your blog is about so then when people see that then if they're looking for freebies or whatever then they'll click through to your blog based on that description because they do look at that also here you can buy a domain remember how important I told you guys a, a domain is and if you don't want your blog address to be entitled aliciasfreebies.blogspot.com and you want something a little bit more professional and easier for your blog readers and visitors to find you then you could go and click on buy a domain it's probably going to take you to a third party vendor which is probably GoDaddy I'm suspecting I'm not sure but then they give me an example of some domains that you can purchase um, here and that will replace that dot blog spot and it's, you can get it for like twelve dollars a year if you want to do that first we're just gonna set it up if you want this remember I talked about security for your blog and that's what this HTTPS is and that will help you if you click on the learn more button it's gonna tell you that it's gonna help to make sure that visitors open the correct website and they're not directed or redirected to a malicious site and if somebody's trying to attack your site um, then they'll do that it'll check for that and also security measures to make it harder for other people to listen to your visitors conversations track their activities or steal their information so if you want to click on that button I recommend you guys do so and you can just do that and then go back into your settings and if you want to add any authors of course you could do that there this is what I recommend for beginners if you're just starting it's really easy and simple to set up so when you go the next thing you want you want to do you could also click to go to your post and it'll kind of it already has it kind of set up for you already pre set up if you want to add a message form you can do that but a lot of this is already set up for you guys the settings to make it easier for you guys so the next thing you want to do is your it this is your blog live right now but if you want to 
edit your HTML, which is more for advanced, those who are a little bit advanced, but I wouldn't recommend you do that yet. Um, but you could always download a blogger template from somewhere, and whether you pay for it or free, and you can change the whole look of this site here. If you want to customize what's already out there, you can click on this button, and then you can play around with the background features, you could change the colors if you want to do that. You could adjust the width, so it's real simple, make it smaller or bigger. It just really depends on what you want. The layout, you can change it a little bit. And this is where, how your blog will look. This is on the back end, but how it looks on the front end. Um, <clears throat> but it'll appear this way, and that's the bottom of your blog, the footer layout. But if you want to keep it exactly like it is, you can, and then you can play with it later down the line. You could always adjust and change the fonts and also the colors um, in your template. But if you're fine the way that it is, we're going to go back to Blogger. We're going to apply this to our blog, just that we change the colors. And then we're going to go back to Blogger. And we're going to go back in. And now what we want to do is the next thing you're going to want to do is kind of look at the layout of your blog. So here, your headers here, and this is where your blog post will go. Over here, you can, this is where your About Me page and your archives, which means the, blog, the post that you've written on your blog, they will show up here on your blog. And you can add gadgets. So um, say you want to add a gadget on your sidebar right. What you need to do is just click on add a gadget and you can click on AdSense. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but you can click on that to put an ad right here on your blog. You could do a script HTML and I'll show you guys how to do that. A page header. You can add an image on your blog, labels, pages, text search box, blog stats, a video bar, say if you have a YouTube channel, you could click that and then when that video bar shows up, well it'll just have this general um, video bar but if you want to put a particular channel in there then you can just put the name. Let's see if it'll bring mine up. <clears throat> and let's see how it looks on your blog if it shows up. So it says it's not available yet, the content, but you see how it works. Now, what you can do here to make your blog more user friendly, you can even add your own little gadgets if you want to do that, but um, I would definitely recommend that you add more pages to your blog. I'll show you guys how to do that too. Add an RSS feed to your blog. You just click it and you get started with that add a logo, you can do all different subscriptions so people can subscribe to your blog. Definitely do that. And like I said, you can just play with it and keep adding elements here to the right sidebar of your blog. You could always change it to have that sidebar go and Google followers, you wanna add that if you have a Google Plus account. If you don't, you can just get one for free and add that to your blog. And there it's gonna show your Google followers and say that and just keep adding gadgets here that's what I recommend for you guys to do go through here and keep adding gadgets um, and it'll tell you what you've already added and what you need to add next you could use this badge for example and click save so it, blogger is really user friendly you can always preview your blog you want to view it again and see what it looks like with the features that you've changed and updated. And let's see what it looks like. So, see how it kind of works. It's kind of gotten, you can always move those up and down or around. It's giving you guys an example of how you can set it up real easy. So, here, where your blog posts are going to go, this is where your main content is going to go right here on your blog. At the bottom, you can add things. Too. Now, um, also other features, different things, whatever you want to add there, you can add it. If you have products on Amazon and you want to add them, you could do that here where it says add a gadget and add some kind of HTML code. 
you can add that right here. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. So this is supposed to be a freebie blog, right? So I'm in my account with um, Commission Junction Affiliate Conversion. And so I'm, I just clicked on the link to get links here. That's all I did to get a link. And it's going to take a little bit to load up. But I'm going to show you guys how you can put ads in your blog too. So all you're going to do, say I want to get this coupon code. All I'm going to do, here's the HTML code, this is the JavaScript, either one would work on Blogger. This is just simply the URL, maybe you could write text around it to get people to sign up. Or to click on that, you're going to highlight that, copy it, go back to your blog. Going to add a gadget, you're going to put the content right where it says Content, Control V, Save It, View Your Blog and it should reflect that. So there it is right there. Remember you can always go in and adjust the um, the settings or the layout or the template actually and you can make those settings a little bit bigger or smaller to adjust to make everything fit in there. That's what you want to do. If you want to earn money with your blog then you can sign up for a Google AdSense account which is free and what they will do is they will interject ads into your blog so when you go back to and after you sign up for an account it'll take just a few minutes for you to do so <clears throat> and then when those ads are placed in on your page you'll earn money based on clicks and all of that and, and visitors that will click through to those ads and different things like that so um, if you go back to the layout again and say you want to add Google AdSense and you could just click on that if you are already signed up you just click on that and then you just select what kind of ads you want to show and so you could just pick that and they're going to kind of already pick the select um, color combinations based on what your blog looks like and it should show up on your blog so there's going to be an ad there. It may not show up for me only because I'm working on my blog right now. But um, when your visitors go to your blog, you can you'll they'll see that ad there. And um, that's really how the blog. It's real simple. You can set up a blog in less than a day, just probably a couple hours actually. I'm going to show you guys how you can write a post. Now, if you want to add pages to your blog, you just click on this create a new page and wait till the page loads up maybe make a title call it daily freebies I don't know just making up something and then put your content right here Okay, now these features here, say if you wanted to put an ad in this particular post that you're writing, what you can do is you're going to click on the HTML and it's going to look like that. And remember that ad that I got earlier, I'm going to copy that, I'm going to go back to Blogger, add it in there and click Compose and it's right there, that simple. If you want to highlight a word and make it link to something else you can highlight it click link here and then put the web address of that URL for example click URL copy highlight go back to blogger enter it put OK and if they click on that it'll take them to the coupon blog you can add an image in your in your post really simple you can do that and it'll help you and it'll let you pick from your blog or webcam whatever and you can do that um, this will give you bullet post you can play around with this you know <clears throat> if you want to add a bullet list or a numbered list <coughs> excuse me you can do that or also a video you can insert your video in your blog but really you can just simply write your text here and then on the page options you want to make sure you allow for comments and use line breaks and all of that and then when you're ready to publish it you just click publish and you'll have another page on your blog when you're ready to make a new post 
And that's really, like I told you guys before, chronologically, blogs are based upon dates and they're kind of built around chronological order. Each time you write a new post, that's going to show up first on your blog. So when you're ready to write a post, you could write a post about, um, I don't know, 25 ways to, to um, use digital coupons. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, below this, that's your title of your post. That's which every time you write a post, you want to click new post and write your title. Your content will go right below here. just an example and then you can keep going on with your content remember you can insert an image in your post you can do it right at the beginning and then when you get ready you could also play with these other features but you would continue to write your content here add your image and then on your post settings you want to label your post so whatever it's kind of general but whatever your topic is about so say it's about digital coupons You can keep adding that. You can put coupons, discounts, anything like that. And make sure you label it because that's how they'll find it. Publish that post even though it's not really anything. It's just, and then you could also share it on Google, but you have to have a Google Plus account. But um, you can view your blog. There's not going to be a lot there because I didn't write a lot. Write a lot but you get an example of how it works and then when you're ready to do a new post say you want to write a post about ebates okay Make sure you label it. Again, come over and do the same thing. Just an example. You could add an image, but we're just playing with this. I'm just showing you guys how blogging works, and then you want to share it. Um, you can view your blog again and see the changes. So you see how categorically it, it is. So, And then you can always add a picture, and there's your ad that shows up. You also can play around with um, those. You can add different kinds of features on your layout. Um, you know, if you want to add where you're on social media somewhere, you could add that too in your header or image and different links. Um, here, you could click on that and that'll show you. You could put different links that you want to add to your blog and things like that but this is really a basic way of showing you guys how you can set up a blogger blog and be able to share your thoughts online and publish them it's simple it's as simple as clicking on new post coming up with a title writing the content below make sure you put your labels in there click done and then publish and you're gonna do this every time you write a blog so it's that simple just go to blogger.com get a free blog you can sign up for a Google Adsense account it's probably gonna take a couple of days or so for them to get back to you but I would recommend that you have enough content out there first so that you can ensure that your account will get approved and then you can have a free blog and have it ready and set up just in a couple of hours so Make sure you join me in the next lecture because I'm going to talk about how you can set up a WordPress blog.